In this video, I'm going to help you fix an issue where apps are not opening on your Toshiba Fire TV. You go to the application, for example, Netflix, and it won't open. This can happen on one or two apps, or it might just happen on the whole TV and none of the apps will work. Follow me all the way to the end, and I'm pretty confident I could help you fix the issue. So the first thing I want you to do is go to settings from homes, go to settings, and go to device and software. And then from there, what I want you to do is just simply restart the Fire TV. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is smart TVs are like computers. They're not like the old TVs. So they actually have stored memory and everything. And if you haven't restarted in a while, that could be the issue. All right. Now, after you've tried that, what I want you to do is go back to device and software from the home settings. Click on about. And then what I want you to do is check for updates. And then after you check for updates, go ahead and restart it and see if that fixes your problem. Next thing what I want you to do is power it off and unplug it from the wall. So we're going to do a power cycle. So physically unplug it from the wall. You can also unplug it from the back of the TV. And then what we're going to do is take your remote and point it directly at the TV and hold it down for 30 seconds while it's unplugged. And then find the power button on your Toshiba Fire and then hold that down for 30 seconds. And don't let go for 30 seconds while it's unplugged. Go ahead and plug it back in and then tell me if that fixes your problem. That will usually fix most of the issues with the apps. Now, let's go ahead and go to the app itself that you're having a problem with, or all of them. We're going to go back to settings. And then what we're going to do is go to, let's see, applications. And then what we're going to do is managed installed applications. And pick one of the apps that you're having problems with, or it might just be this one. You might just have a problem with Netflix, for example. Go ahead and click Enter on Netflix under Applications. And then what we're going to do is clear the cache. Okay. And then we're going to back out of it and then see if we can get into Netflix. If we can't, go back here to the same place and then clear data. Okay. And then go ahead and see if you can get it back in. If that doesn't work, actually, if it's just one app that you're having problems with and it's not all of them, go ahead and uninstall that app and then reinstall it and see if that fixes your issue, which a lot of times it will. Just for kick's sake, go ahead and unplug anything you have in the HDMI ports, like say if you have a PlayStation or an Xbox, soundbar, or anything in the USBs. Unplug everything and see if you're able to get in. It could be there's an issue with that device uh, with your TV. And then try a different HDMI port with that device. Or it could be the device that's messing it up. All right, next thing I want you to do is check your internet connection. So as you can see here, I'm pretty close to my Wi-Fi router. But apps not opening is a good chance that it's not getting a good internet connection. So what I want you to do is go to your network and to do that you're just going to go to home and then you want to go all the way back to settings and then what you're going to do is go to network and then from network you're going to select your network and we're going to go ahead and forget it so just make sure you memorized your Wi-Fi that you know what it is the password because we're going to go back into it and then we're going to click on the three little lines here on the remote to forget the network and then you want to reconnect if your router is far away from your TV try a different device a, a router on the TV or try to bring the TV closer to the router to see if that's what the issue is or try a hotspot on your smartphone so for example this smartphone has tethering where I can do a hotspot and then place the phone next to the TV and see if you're able to get to the app that way then you know the issues with your router and you're not close enough if that's the issue, go ahead and unplug the router from the wall for a good 15 minutes. Plug it back in and then see if you're able to get to your network. All right, I'm pretty confident one of these solutions fixed your problem. If not, final solution 
is to go home, go to settings, go back to device and software, and what you're going to have to do is do a full factory restall, reset to factory defaults. So this is like it was out of the box, brand new. It's going to wipe out your, your personal uh, passwords, all new apps, and you're going to have to re-enter all that stuff back in. But that's okay. If this doesn't work, nothing will work. Okay. But it should. So do a full factory restore. That takes about 15 minutes. And let me know in the comment section which method worked for you. All right. Thanks and subscribe.